Hello, and thank you for joining me uh, for my presentation on my thesis work. I'm looking at ethical reasoning in pre-K-12 settings. I'm addressing the frameworks uh, for ethical reasoning, looking primarily at how practitioners in the field are making ethical decisions. What are the frameworks that they're using? What are the ethical tenets or considerations that are influencing or informing their decisions? And I'm also looking at whether or not that framework aligns more with deontological reasoning or teleological reasoning. Of course, uh, in looking at the literature, deontological reasoning, we're talking about uh, more adher strict adherence to ethical tenets, right and wrong, whereas teleological reasoning looks more at uh, values uh, that could be stakeholder values, institutional values, um, but incorporating those into the reasoning process when making an ethical decision. Interpreter ethics uh, I'm also addressing and uh, in looking at the literature those are uh, primarily come from uh, NAD, RID, uh, the Code of Professional Conduct as well as the work by the National Association of Interpreters in Education. On the subject of proposed changes, there are several uh, contributors, uh, namely Coakley and Dean and Pollard. Coakley, of course, advocates for a rights-based framework for ethical reasoning, whereas Dean and Pollard have developed their demand control schema, which incorporates reflection and uh, supervision. Uh, when making ethical decisions. So as far as the participants, I've uh, included interpreters who have worked or are working in the pre-K-12 settings. And of course, minimum age 18. Uh, really, there is no cap at <laughs> maximum age as long as they meet the experience requirements which, of course, is one year minimum. I'm sending out a survey to conduct the research. The survey consists of five ethical scenarios or scenarios in which uh, the interpreter is presented with an ethical dilemma, a decision to be made. And I have pre-coded six possible considerations that one might take into account when making an ethical decision. Three of those align with a deontological reasoning, uh, the other three with teleological reasoning, and the participants are asked to rate the six possible considerations in terms of most important, least important when making a decision. And of course, for this presentation specifically, I've included a list of references.